Hi, I'm talking to Mark Klasfeld. He is the director of a video that's definitely gone viral. I don't know if you've seen it yet. It's gotten over 2.5 million views already on YouTube. It is called Scarface School Play. Hello, Mark. Hi. So, a lot of people want to know, what made you want to do this video? What was the inspiration behind it? The inspiration behind it, I, I've done um, quite a few satirical, funny types of videos, viral videos, music videos, commercials, and um, this was just one more thing for me. Um, I, like to, I like to do things that, that stir debate. I, I, I really didn't know this was gonna get this big, as big as it did, but it's been interesting that it has. But why Scarface? Like, what was the whole, you know, why bring a bunch of young kids? I mean, you, there was obviously an idea. I guess, I guess ultimately I just thought it was funny. I thought it was funny in a very satirical kind of way. Um, I guess a friend of mine and a friend of, uh, I actually wrote this idea for a TV show mm -hmm. for, uh, and it never got made, but a friend of mine was telling me that he was really pushing me to do it because he thought it would be incredible if I, if I just made it and, and, uh, I just made it. So what did you tell the parents when you were, you casted it? This was actually done in, in a traditional way? Yeah, it was done very traditionally. We, we cast it right here. In the yeah, right here in the office. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Uh, and um, the parents were all on board. I mean, they've, I think they've probably been exposed. They probably didn't see any harm in it. The kids were never exposed to the, to the, um, to the movie. Um, they were, they just, it was all innocently done. They didn't have a problem with them saying bad words or pretending they were certain characters that were a bit no, ad they, more adult? Mature. No, they had, they had no problem with it. I'm sure that these kids probably experience worse things um, in violent video games or things they've heard from their parents or, or from their brothers and sisters that are older or, or even some movies and TV shows they watch. So I, it really wasn't that big of a deal, but it... It turned into one. So then you upload it to YouTube. Right. And, and tell me the succession of events. Um, we, we uploaded it to YouTube. Um, we uploaded it to, uh, I have a friend, Keith Richmond, who works at Break.com, who owns Break.com. And Keith um, got it out there. I worked with another company called ShareThrough, who promoted it. But, I mean, almost immediately we put it on, it went, it just exploded. I mean, almost within seconds. And, and why do you think that is? Because I, I, I guess, pe I, well, I, I think that people, um, most people view America in a state of decline right now, unfortunately, and, and this really hits home for them in a way that they think that something like this is actually possible in our society, that morals have slipped to this kind of level. And a lot of people, you know, this has become their favorite thing that they've seen on YouTube. They, they really love it and they, they choose to laugh at it. And a lot of people choose to get upset by it and, and get angry by it. But I think it hits that same note in everybody and it, it reminds them perhaps of, of something they don't want to be reminded of. So it just, it just hit people in a lot of, uh, in two different ways. Were parents angry? The parents of the children involved because they didn't maybe expect the reaction it has had. The, the, the parents of the children involved couldn't be happier because <laughs> yeah. because for them they they want to promote their kids and, and get and, and have their kids um, go on to do other things in acting and uh, so so the parents were all excited and on board. They had they, there's actually no controversy. They they're just happy with it and they're kind of surprised at all the controversy themselves. But you know there's there are select there's a kind of audience who 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 did get upset by it and that kind of drove the people who liked it and those two sides battled and battled like anything that I guess guess uh, gets popular. And well, yeah, any good publicity is good publicity sometimes they say. Yeah. Uh, since you've created many other viral videos, this wasn't your first one, right. what tips would you give to people who want to create a viral video? I would say probably watch a lot of viral videos. There are some amazing things being done in the advertising industry. Um, I did one last year called Hammer Pants Dance, and um, it it definitely um, it, it was got really popular and, and really uh, viewed, but it wasn't it didn't get quite to this controversial level. But I think you have to kind of figure out what's going on in the, in pop culture and the mainstream of our society and 
and, and really understand that. And, and if you can understand that, who knows how popular, I, I, I couldn't guess this, nobody could, but at least you have a better chance. And maybe also stir some emotion, sprinkle that in. Yeah, emotion's good. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.